The poster edges filter finds areas of similar color and merges those areas into distinct areas of a single color. It then adds a black line around each area, and as you can see in this example, using Photospin image number 1430003, it adds black spots throughout the image by adding edges around tiny areas of detail not eliminated by the posterization process. Generally speaking, when working with poster edges, you'll want to start at the bottom and work your way up, adjusting posterization first, then edge intensity, and then edge thickness. Posterization controls how many different areas of color will be used in the image, while posterization adjustment in the image adjustments menu permits you to specify an exact number of colors. The posterization slider in poster edges ranges from 0, which creates large areas of smooth color, to 6, which produces virtually no change in the appearance of most images. You'll generally use a setting somewhere in the middle, 3 or 4. Edge intensity determines how dark the black lines and speckling will be. Low edge intensity, the effect disappears. High edge intensity, and, well, hmm, I'm not sure that's a very flattering look for these particular young ladies. The edge thickness setting can be deceiving. There isn't a truly linear relationship among the settings on the slider. A setting of 8, for example, is not twice as thick as, say, a setting of 4. I suggest that you drag the slider to zero and use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to move through the settings. Go all the way up to 10 and back down to find the settings that suit the content of your image the best. Now, if you would prefer that your image not include all of the black speckling that we see throughout the areas of detail, you can get a much more refined effect simply by using a blur filter first. In this particular case, Smart Blur was used before poster edges. That knocked out most of the fine detail in the image and prevented poster edges from adding those black edges around those small areas of detail. Compare without Smart Blur with Smart Blur. You'll see that the large areas of color still have the black outlines, but the tiny areas of fine detail have been knocked out of the image, preventing that distracting speckling look.